We continue now in Brachas and Brachas Daf Chaf Beis Amid Beis. This is Brachas Daf Twenty Two B. The Gemara just finished discussing the Chatzveder of Nachman. This was a vessel created by Rav Nachman, uh, which was a nine cabin of water, uh, which was supposed to be used for someone who was a Balkari that he could uh, become Torah, that he could learn Torah. So the Gemara previously said that uh, they thought that the, it ended. Up, they thought it was useless because it would only be it would only work for somebody who was a Chola Laon, so somebody who was sick and he became a Balkari against his will by accident. But somebody who was a margil, chola hamargil, somebody who was sick, but he had regular normal, in the course of regular normal relations, he became a balkari. This wouldn't work, so they said that his, the chatzveder of Nachman, his vessel was broken. But then there was another episode, the Gemara continues, Bekila de Ravoshia, in the entryway of the, of the house of Ravoshia, Asu Vishalu Ravasi. And they asked Ravasi, Amar Lui said to them, Lo Shonu, Ela Lechola hamargil. So he said, This is only true by a, a, one who is sick. Uh, uh, but he has it in the course of normal relations. Such a person is allowed to use the nine cabin. Someone who has it, uh, who's a chola, and it happens uh, by accident, he's actually completely putter. He doesn't need to become tar. He doesn't need nine cabin or immersion. So Amar Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef said, "It's time in Chatzvei Rav Nachman. You've now uh, fixed the vessel of, of Rav Nachman. It is now useful again because it can be used for a chola hamargil." So the Gemara now asks, "How do we have a machlokas here?" of what kind of person uh, the nine cabin would be good for. The Gemara says, Mechti, let us see. All the Amoraim and the Tanoim are arguing about what was the Takonas Ezra. All of this comes from a Takon of Ezra. And why don't we just find out what the Takon of Ezra was? Now this is a little bit of a strange question as we are living much uh, past Ezra. Times the Gemara is much past the time of Ezra. Why does the Gemara think that we could just figure out what Ezra was misakin? So Tozus here says, Many times the Gemara doesn't ask this. This is something that happens every day. Therefore, we certainly should remember. So it's a strange thing that they would have a machlokas about when or, or in which case one requires immersion, in which case it's sufficient to have nine kabin, etc. So the Gemara says, Why don't we see what was the Takon Ezra? Amr Abai Abai says, Ezra Tikin Labori Hamargil Memso. Ubari Laonso Tezkaven. What happened was like this. Ezra's original Takana was for a healthy person. If it happened in the course of uh, regular relations, he would need an immersion of 40 saw. And if it happened by mistake, it would be Tezkaven. The also Amoroyo Pligi Bechola. And then they began to argue what happens by someone who's sick. Mar Savar Chola Hamargil Kibori Hamargil Vechola Laonso Kibori. Leonso, there was one opinion that one who, is sick, one who is sick is exactly like a Bari. So a Chola Hamargil would require four saw. A Chola Laonso would use nine Kaben. Umar Savar Chola Hamargil. And the other one said, no, no, no. A chola hamargil would be like a bari laonso could use tes kavin. And one who is chola, and it happens against his will, he'd be totally putter from doing anything to become tahar. So Amar Rava Rava says, Nihida Tiken Ezra Tvila, Nesina Mitiken. One second. We know that Ezra was Masak in Tvila, but he was never Masak in pouring nine cabin. This entire discussion assumes that Ezra was Masak in the nine cabin. Though Amar Mar, but the master said, Ezra Tiken Tvila Labalikirian. He was Masak in immersion. He was never Masak in nine cabin. So we have to revise this slightly. Al Amar Rava, rather Rava says, Ezra Tiken Tvila Labari, Labari Hamargil Mem So Ezra was Masak in Tvila for a Bari. Hamargil, one who is healthy, who has it in the, who becomes a Balkari in the course of normal relations, 40 saw immersion. The also Rabbonan Viskin Labori Laon Sotas Kavin. Then the Rabbonan come along and they say nine Kavin for a Bari who happens against his will. The also Amorai become Iflugi. And then the Amorim came and argued, Behola by a sick person. Marsa Vachola Hamargil Kabori Hamargil Vachola Laonso Kabori Laonso. Once a sick person is just like a healthy person, the same exact rules apply. Marsa Vachola Hamargil Mamsa Vachola Hamargil Kabori Laon Sotas Kavin. And the other one says a bari hamargil gets memso, and a chola hamargil is like a bari laonso. Someone who's sick and it happens in the nor- in the course of normal relations is like a healthy person that happens by accident and only has to do nine kaben. But somebody who's sick and it happens against his will, he is totally potter. Amar Rava Rava says Hilchas Abari Hamargil v'Chola Hamargil Arboim. Saw the halacha is that a healthy person and a chola, both a healthy person and a sick person, when it happens in the course of normal relations, and that they become a balkari, it's Arboim. Saw Abari Laonso Tisha Kabin. Somebody who's a healthy person and happens against his will, Nine Kabin Avalachol Laonso Pater Miklum. But somebody who's sick and it happens against his will is totally Pater. Now this is a little bit confusing because the Gemara here says this is the halacha. Yet we said before the halacha is like Rav Yudah Ben Beseira that Divrei. 
Torah is not Mekabal Tuma. So Rashi uh, addresses this. Amar Rava Hilchasa, Apluxa de Amoroim, who the Pasak Rava, the Pligi Alibi de Rabbonin. The Machlokas Amoroim that's going according to the Rabbonin, Rava is passing that particular Machlokas here. Miu Hashdan, however, nowadays, Anon Kreb Yudu ben Beseira in Hagin, and we actually follow Reb Yudu ben Beseira, Kedama Rav Nachman Lael, like Rav Nachman said before, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak Basra Have. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak was the later authority. So, in other words, when the Gemara, according to Rashi, when the Gemara here says Amar Rav Hilchisa, it doesn't mean what the practical halacha is nowadays, it means what is the halacha in the previously addressed Machlokas. The Gemara continues at the two dots. Tanu Rabbanu, we learned in a brisa. Val Keri, Shanasnu Olav Tes Kabin Mayim Tar. If he puts upon himself nine Kabin of Mayim, he is Tar. Bamedavar Mamurim Laatzmo. That refers to when he is learning himself. In other words, you can use the leniency of nine Kabin to learn Torah. Avala Cherem, but to teach others Torah are Boim Sa. Then we're strict that the person needs to be to immerse in forty Sa. Rabbi Yehuda Omer Mem Sa Mikol Makom. Rabbi Yehuda says forty Sa Mikol Makom. We're going to see what Mikol Makom means. Means, it seems to be saying it in any fashion, some kind of leniency of how you can uh, calculate or 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 uh, get the required forty sa. Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Chanina. So the Gemara here is quoting two pairs. Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi are going to have an argument, and Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Chanina will have an argument. Chad mehai zuga v'chad mehai zuga aresha. So actually, it's one from each are going to have an argument. So one from the first pair and one from the second pair will have an argument on the ratio of the brides that we just quoted and the following is going to be the, the argument that which you said that for learning for oneself you need 40 that you need uh, only test cabin teaching others you need 40 so that's only true by a also but if a person is sick and it happens against his will test cabin then you could be lenient uh, even to teach nine kabin. The chadam are kol lacherim. No, anytime one is teaching others. Afilu chol laonso, even if he's sick and it happens against his will, adika memsa, you need 40 sa. So that was the first machlok. So one from each pair arguing over that. The chad mehezuka, the chad mehezuka, and then one from the one pair and one from the other pair, asefa. They argue on the end line of the brisa as follows. Chadam are one says, Hadam Rav Yehuda memsa mikol makom. When Rav Yehuda says mikol makom, any 40 sa, lo it's got to be in land. It's got to be a mikvah built as we understand a mikvah in the land. But if you would have 40 saw in some type of a vessel, that would not be okay. One says, no, no, what he means is any 40 saw, even in, in a kli. So the Gemara says, we understand, according to the one who says that you can use a keli, that's what mikal makam means. In other words, it's a leniency. You don't need to build the mikvah into land. It could be some kind of a vessel. But according to the one who says that it needs to be in the karka, not in kalim, so that's a typical mikvah. Mikol makam le'suyemai. What is mikol makam including? It's exactly the same as any other situation. So the Gemara says le'suyemayim shuuvin. It comes to include drawn water. What he was saying, mikol makam, you don't need to have rainwater. That kind of a mikvah, you can even have uh, um, if it's filled up with drawn water. That would be sufficient. Rav Papa and Rav Huna Breder Rav Yoshua, the Rava Bar Shmuel Krichu Rifta Bahadei Adari. Rav Papa, Rav Huna, the son of Rav Yoshua, and Rava, the son of Shmuel, they were having bread together. They're having a meal together. Amr le Rav Papa, Rav Papa said, Amr le Rav Papa, Rav Papa said to them, Havu li ledidi livroch. You should give me that I should be allowed a bench. The Nafali loy test cabin because I have uh, put, washed myself with nine cabin. I am tahor. I can bench. Amr le Rava, Rava said. Amr lu Rava bar Shmuel, Rava bar Shmuel said, Tanina, we learned in the Mishnah, Vamedivar Mamurim la'atzmo, the nine kavan only work for oneself. Avalachere memsa, but if you're going to do, learn, or teach others rather, you would need 40 sa. So here you're benching on behalf of others, you're leading the zimun, you should require memsa. Elahavoli lididi, live rough enough, lilai abo imsa. You should give it to me to make the bracha, because I had fall upon me 40 I had fall upon me 40 sa, I had the proper immersion. Amr luhu Ravuna, so Ravuna said, I should be the one to bench. I wasn't Tommy in the first place, he's saying. I wasn't a Balkari in the first place. I never even needed any immersion. Therefore, I should be the one to bench. Rav Chama used to immerse himself on Erev 
uh, on the on the day before Pesach, on Erev Pesach, lahotzi rabim yedei chovasin. In order to be motzi the rabim, in uh, it's referring to one of the events of the night and the Halil and the Haggadah, something that was going to come up the night of Pesach. He was going to be leading uh, leading the seder, so he wanted to make sure he was tahar. Vales hilchas kavase, but the halacha does not follow him. Um, the halacha is that it is not required to be tovel in in such a situation. Uh, the uh, Rashi over here says, "What do you mean? It's not the halacha." But let's hilchas kavase to chihechi de la atzmo benesina la acherim naami benesina. So it could be that uh, it could be the Gemara means that he you don't need to go immerse in the mikvah. You can just pour upon yourself nine kabin. Inami the kaimel and Rabbi Yudah ben Or the Gemara means to say, going back to what we said earlier, that we hold like Rabbi Yudah ben Maseira that you don't need to to uh, become tar at all. Divrei uh, tar not mekabel tuma. Gemara continues now at the Mishnah. If a person is in the middle of Tvil, in the middle of davening, and he remembers that he is a Balkari, he shouldn't stop davening, he should shorten each bracha. Yorad Litvol, now if he goes to immerse, if the person has enough time to come up from the mikveh, cover himself up properly, and say Kriyashma before Hanetzachama, before sunrise, he should do that. He should come out of the mikveh, cover himself up, he should uh, read the Kriyashma. Vimla, but if he doesn't have time, he should cover himself in the water itself, and he should read in the water. He should not cover himself up with bad water meaning like spoiled uh, water which smells bad and not in May Mishra which is also similarly water that was used to uh, it was water that was used to in steeping flax it was a ste- steeping waters for the flax unless you put in there water now Rashi over here explains that there is a little bit missing in this line over here uh, Rashi says over here, The Gemara is going to say that there's a few words missing from this Mishnah. Here's how it should read. A person should not read Kriya Shema by, by urine until you put water in. So the line in the Mishnah which says, is not going on this Mayim Haroim and May Mishra. It's referring to Meiraglayim, to one who is uh, reading by uh, nearby urine. The Kama Yarchik Mehenu Minatso Adalad Amos. Then continuing on that note, the mission says, How far away should a person go from either Meiraglayim or Tsoa, uh, Dalad Amos, from Meiraglayim or Tsoa, which is excrement for Amos. The Gemara now says, Tonra Abonu, we learned in a Braisa, he omen with Tfilah Veniskar Shu Balkeri, person is davening, he remembers he's a Balkeri, Lo Yafsik Eli Katzer, he shouldn't stop davening, he should just do a shortened version of each bracha. Hayakore by Torah, a person's reading the, in the Torah of an Iskar Shahu, Balkari, remember this is a Balkari. Ain't no Mavzik Viola, he shouldn't stop. Ella Megam game Vikore. What is Megam game Vikore? Rashi says it means he should read it quickly. Rabbi Meir, Omer of Meir says, Ain Balkari, Rashoi, Likros, Petorah, Yoser, Megimel, Psukim. Balkari should not read in the Torah more than three Psukim. Tanya Ida, we have another Bryce, so Hayomid Betfila Varat, Soa Kenegdo. A person is uh, is davening and he sees Soa in front of him. Mahalech Lefonovach is Rekenel Achor of Dalad Amos. He should walk in front of the Soa so that his so that it is behind him for Amos. So the the Gemara says, Vatani, let's start. And there's another Bryce that says, You should go, let's start, and you should go to the side. Uh, you don't have to go in front, that has to be directly behind you. So, low cash, or hada efsher, hada low efsher. So the Gemara says, No, it depends if it's possible. In some situations, like Rashi here explains, sometimes you can't go forward uh, because, let's, let's say, a, rov- a river in, in front of you, something is preventing you from doing that, so it's okay to go to the side. Person is davening, he finds excrement in, in his place. Uh, Rabbi says, Even though it's a sin, his tefila is still an acceptable tefila, essentially, but it's an okay tefila. Rabbi asks, really, It says that's an abomination, uh, the sacrifice of the wicked. Rabbi rather, rather, says, Since he sinned, even though he daven, his tefila is an abomination, it is not a proper davening. Gemara continues that the two dots at the bottom, Tanar Abana, we learned in a brisa. Hayaomid betfilo mayim shosasin al birkov. Person is uh, davening and apparently uh, some uncontrollably he finds that he is urinating uh, on his knees while he is davening. Posek at sheyichlu hamayim. So he needs to stop davening until he finishes. Vechoser mespalo, and then he should uh, resume his davening. So lehechan choser. To what point in the davening should he resume? Rav Chista, Rav Hamnuna. It's a argument between Rav Chista and Rav Hamnuna. Chadam or 
Rabbis or the Rosh. One opinion is he should go to the beginning of the Tvil of the Shvon Esrei. The Chadam or Lamakam Shapasak. The other opinion is you can continue, resume from the place where you left off. The Gemara says, Lema Bahakam Iflagi. Let us say they're arguing in the following point, and the Gemara will continue to explore this Machlogis and Daf Chav Gimel Amin Aleph.